Okay, guess what I'm, I'm doing on Christmas Eve? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm spending time with the next generation of leaders, like reading books to grandchildren and talking to them face to face, which is still quite legal where I am in Tennessee. But you're hearing about other regulations and laws and rules, and there was just one in Holland banning the cuddling of grandchildren this Christmas. And it was commanded by the Prime Minister, Mr. Ruta, who happens to have no children and no grandchildren. And like so many of the leaders in Europe, which makes me wonder if there will be another Christmas in Europe. And so have you ever imagined what policies would be like if the policymakers had children that they loved? Emmanuel Macron, the French president, has no children. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has no children. Nor did his famous predecessor, Angela Merkel. Prime Minister Boris Johnson in the UK, he, he has some dependents, but his predecessor, Theresa May, had no children. And the policies that came from her administration were disastrous. Italian Prime Minister Paolo Gentiloni has no children. Sweden's Stefan Löfven, no children. Luxembourg's Javier Bettel, Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, none of them have children. And the list goes on. Latvia's childless president is Raimond Zveonis. Lithuania's childless president is Dalia Gigbuskete. That's a hard name. And Romania's childless president is Klaus Werner Johannes. Jan Claude Juncker, the former longtime president of the European Commission, is a man without a family, no children, and he governed as though Europe had no future. So many policies of the last 20 years were present oriented only because the future dies with the childless, and the concerns of those lonely leaders were fixed on the immediate present, and many of them were disastrous. In fact, most of them. 2012, 2013, 2014, leading up to 2015, which was probably the most disastrous year of all. Now, Christmas 2021 is a troublesome political holiday for almost all of them because families want to be together, no matter what the latest rules are, what the latest rules spell out. And what I want to do, I want to spend time with the future by investing in it. I want to be with my family. This young lady right here, will live there in the future long after I'm gone. And I want her to know what role family life can play in the present so she has a vision for the future. So she'll know how to invest in, in her own children. So make the most of what family you have. Your family members are the future's most valuable resource. I'm Jeffrey Botkin.